During World War II, the people living close to the Möhne Reservoir made the painful experience of how much power impounded water can have. During the night of May 16th and 17th, 1943, British bombers attacked the dam with bouncing bombs that had been developed specifically for this attack. One of the bombs reached its target and blew a gap of almost 80 meters into the dam. In a short amount of time, more than 90 million cubic meters of water were released and the tidal wave up to seven meters high crashed through the narrow Möhne Valley, sweeping away everything in its path. At least 1,500 lost their lives in this disaster, most of them forced laborers accommodated in a camp below the reservoir. Even in the Ruhr area, more than 80 kilometers away from the Möhne Reservoir, the tidal wave claimed lives and caused major devastation. As the Möhne Reservoir was crucial for supplying the war industry located in the Ruhr area with water, reconstruction of the dam started already five days after the attack. Thousands of people were required to rebuild it, among them many forced laborers and prisoners of war. Nearly four months later, the Möhne Reservoir was back in operation. Until the end of the war, it suffered no more targeted attacks. 